Hi, so this is a video or demo presentation for self-compacting concrete. In this example, let us use 5,500 PSI as a required uh, specified strength with the flow of 650 mm plus or minus 100 as permissible limits. I'll be using here 19 mm as the nominal maximum size or 3 fourth inch. The equivalent theoretical flexural strength would be 719 psi or 5 megapascal. Let us say we don't have standard deviation. Let's keep it empty. And uh, I will not be using air entrained. Let's say non air entrained for. 19mm nominal maximum size of aggregate that will equate to 2% air content. You can check from the reference from the ACI. So for the 19mm, it's 2%. Or using the table itself for 3 fourth inch or 19mm, that will be 2%. For approximate and drop air content if it's non-air and drain concrete so let us say we will not be using this area for the category or durability parameters and we'll be focusing only on this part on the left side so upon entering the specified strength Automatically, the required average strength is shown here as 6,750 PSI. So, on our proposed uh, column, we have to adjust it according to either equal to 6,700 PSI or the next higher value. That is why it turns into red. So, let us choose the higher value which is 7,000 PSI. So automatically 7,000 PSI for non-air entrained, the water cement ratio is 0.34. So we can check it also here from the table 5.3.4 of the standard, 7,000 PSI, the average compressive strength, 7,000 PSI will equate to 0.34 water cement ratio for non-air entrained. We also need to take note that on this table, ACI refers to strength wherein the cement was used. There was no cementitious material in this example, in this table. So we have to consider that. So going back to our mixed design, so 0.34 water cement ratio, Knowing that we are using 30% fly ash, for a person who is working in ready mix for a long time, then you already know that you have to reduce the water cement ratio. So from uh, 0.34, we have to reduce at least 0 0.02, I assume. Maybe it depends on your materials. Maybe from your material, you need to reduce a little bit more. But for the sake of this presentation, the point is you have to reduce water cement ratio. Because typically when you use fly ash, the strength development is less compared to the pure cement only, like type 1 or type 2. Next, keep in mind also that we have project specification. So you have to consider that. This is just an example, let's say 0.4 water cement ratio as per project specification that will be the maximum limit and the minimum cement content is 350 kg in this example. So it depends on your project specification. So for the cement, you can always start with the minimum. Let's say 350. And so from 350, you can just slowly increase but looking at these parameters and looking at the water content, if you are comfortable with this amount of water content, 
so it will mainly depend on that in this example i will just jump into 500 kg of cement you can also observe the changes going on on this optimization parameters the assessment as well as the graph so the graph is uh, very ugly at the moment we will fix it so next the finest modulus of course this is automatically calculated depending on the sieve analysis of our fine aggregates so you have two sizes here in this example i will use natural sand so coarse aggregate you can check all my uh, previous video to find out but this is our a typical calculation only you can just have a look at my previous video so let's say let us check the volume of course aggregates according to table 5.3.6 we need 0.66 volume of course aggregate but if we follow that the graph will be very ugly like it's all outside the limit so to fix that we have to reduce the value of volume course aggregate and it makes sense because we are using uh, or we are designing self-consolidating concrete that means i need more fines so i need more mortar i need more fine aggregates and so we have to reduce the volume of course aggregate from 0.66 i will use let's say 0.47 okay and i'll go ahead to the aggregates i will use like 20 percent for the crushed sand and for the natural sand i think i have to use two sizes here so it's it moves up now slowly slowly we are fixing the parameters and the graph here we need to adjust as well let us say 3070 so we need some more adjustment let's say 2377 that will be perfect so now this is the simple presentation for SCC as you can see it's satisfactory your graph is almost in the limits we cannot always expect to to have a hundred percent complying onto the graph because it will always depends on our aggregates so in this example this is the available material that I have so I have to try to utilize it to optimize it according to these parameters if you want to have a look at the other combined grading chart like 0.45 power chart so this is very fine since this is self-consolidating concrete coarseness factor it's uh, higher than that so you can see from this table it's because the workability factor is 64.2 so this table is a uh, only somewhere at 50 workability so it's more than it's exceeding this uh, chart so you want uh, able to see the the workability factor and coarseness factor the the point that i used to show here so next let's try let's try uh, tarantula curve you can see the it's uh, beyond the limit of 22 percent the retained percent 
Let's try another one, pumpability. So since this is self-compacting concrete, so it uh, it makes sense that it should be higher than the course, which is, or which suggests that, that it is very pumpable. So this is the target line. For pumpability, we should be above this red line. And since this is self-consolidating concrete, with a very high amount of cementitious content, 500. So therefore, this is very pumpable, as you can see from this graph. Again, the self-consolidating concrete. But this is when you are using 19mm nominal maximum size of aggregate. Only for this uh, uh, aggregate sizes. The fine aggregates within the limit or segregate it's beyond the limit but uh, let us ignore it since we need to do a self-consolidating concrete it's not a normal concrete so let us ignore this for the sake of this uh, presentation since this is a special concrete not the normal concrete You can also look at the combined aggregates grading without any limit, but you can see the line. Like I tried my best to make it smooth and straight line. And it also reflects to this table or to this chart. It reflects on this, that we tried our best to fit into this lower limit and upper limit. And this is your 30% fly ash, which is 150 kg, by the way. So you can use uh, mid-range PCE. If you feel that you need to prolong the workability, you can add 1 kg of retarder. Normally, this is what I'm doing instead of our viscosity modifying agent. So I'm just using the normal PCE, mid-range PCE plus retarder. So that's it for today and thank you for watching.